already know everything about you. Like what? Hello beautifuls, this is Aromi here and welcome back to Dark Nights. We are here talking or trying to talk to Zikun to find out more information about the demons, but of course he, he's more like not telling us and telling us why do we why do we even want to know? Because like what if we don't want to find out the actual truth? Or how are we gonna feel about it? I don't know. I don't get why that upsets you, but I, but what I do isn't up to you. Give up on. So you can mumble something. But I do not hear the last few words. He lets out a soft sigh and stands up, walking, walking to the front door. I won't keep you up anymore. Go to sleep. Alright, I guess. Without looking back at me, he steps outside and closes the door with a loud slam. Wow, Rue, this is my house door. You can't be doing that. What the? He left. I head toward the window to watch him go. I can't see anything. Suddenly, a flash of lightning illuminates the street. Chain? In that split second, I spot an eerily familiar person standing under a street light. It's that creepy guy from before. Is he looking in my direction? Okay, I hate thunder. I'm legit scared of thunder. The road outside goes dark again, soon followed by a crash of thunder. I quickly close the curtains and clench my trembling hands. Before heading to bed, I make sure that everything is locked tightly. No corner of the house goes unchecked. Maybe I am overly cautious, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I feel anxious after what I saw on the streets. Despite those feelings, the sound of rain soothes me. The storm has filled the streets with puddles. It is still raining a bit, but the weather is not nothing to be concerned about. Before I even start breakfast, I get a message from Ikuya saying that school is closed today. I wonder what I should do since I have no class. Go to the mall? We can go to the mall? I've never seen that option. Or stay home? I want to see this mall option. I might as well get grocery shopping out of my way so I do not have to do it this weekend. Despite the rain, I can see patches of the sky shining through the clouds. The streets are empty, which is not surprising. With such unpleasant weather, it makes sense that people are staying home. I notice a new advertisement hanging on a wall, looking for experts to exercise demonic creatures. I do not understand most of the job description, so I move on. Nope. Oh. By the time we finish shopping, the rain has stopped altogether. I ended up buying sandwich ingredients like bread, cheese, and eggs, some fish I plan to deep fry, it, and some fish, sorry. It should be enough to survive for the week. Just as I leave the supermarket, I catch a glimpse of a familiar face. Hi, Ikuya. It's rather bump into you this early. Ikuya yawns before speaking to me. My brother was being lazy and ordered me to get him some bread. He literally stole my pillow to get me out. Poor thing. <laughs> he should have gotten it himself. I wanted to tell him that, but he says he needs to study for an important exam. <laughs> excuses. Her brother barely shows up for school. I wonder how he even takes exams. We walk side by side, heading to heading in the same direction. I noticed she brought she bought a coffee beans and eggs as well, not just bread. Despite her complaints, it looks like she's making a, a luxury breakfast. Did you hear the storm last night? I couldn't sleep because it was so noisy. Were you scared, Michiko? Nah, I actually slept better, sleep better when it's raining. Except this time I ended up locking all my doors and windows. Why was that creepy hooded guy standing in front of my house? And before that, I had to keep an eye on Zikun, who was acting suspicious as always. I was lucky to get any sleep at all. Do you think this village is cursed? What makes you think- Oh, well, sorry. What makes you say that all of a sudden? Remember that old folktale about the forest demon when he went on a rampage, cursing everyone, everything and everyone? Scary storms like that one last night makes me wonder if that's how a demon throws a tantrum. Ikea, it's silly to believe all those tales. They might be based on true events, but many details are altered to make it sound more interesting. I know that much, but I notice she is carrying another bag filled with garlic. In case the demon is actually a vampire, I came prepared. Possibilities are endless, but you chose to you chose the weirdest one. Have some garlic to keep you safe, Michiko. Ikea pushes a handful of garlic in my, into my hand, not wanting her to worry. I accept her gift. You're always so thoughtful, Ikea. If a bit silly, thank you. I guess that was cute. We got to see Ikea. The students are more restless today. While walking through the halls, I catch a glimpse of a familiar face. Hi, Chain. 
A green-haired guy walks by, his face is covered in a black gas mask. What is a person like that doing at my school? Even the students around me look at him with confused expressions. Is he actually a student or an uninvited guest? Wow, is that an elite class member? It's so rare to see them at school. He just glared at me. His eyes are so icy, it creeps me out. I noticed the cross emblem on his tie. His uniform is different from any other class, so he must be an elite. I heard they act however they want because they have their own special rules. Yeah, they don't get penalized for skipping class. Aside from Ikea's brother, this guy is the first elite student I have seen at school. He does not give me the impression they are all as attractive and intelligent as rumors say. Hey, you're spacing out. Oh, Leoji, do you know that gas mask guy? That green haired dude? If I remember correctly, his name is Chain. I think he works in the same department as my dad. He barely attends class and focuses more on work. Guess that's why you've never seen him before. Pfft, it's still unfair that these elite students get away with that. Sadly, we can't change the rules. I still find that chain guy strange. Same with Chico. Have you seen any suspicious people lately? Well, this chain guy has been walking around my neighborhood quite often lately. I think he's observing me. To be honest, it's kind of creepy. He's like a stalker. Hmm, I see. Don't worry about it, though. He isn't a bad guy. Chain isn't my only worry. I've also seen a strange person who wears traditional clothes and lives in the forest. Maybe he's one of the priests. I know there's a group of them who sometimes practice their rituals in the forest. Ah, uh, right. Are you still thinking about the demon rumor? Nah, I'm skeptical. <laughs> I'm skeptical. Skeptical about it. Rumors says rumors stay rumors. I need cold, hard proof to know if something is real or not. That's just like you. Let me know if you find something. I guess all the things I found isn't really important to him. <laughs> Any clues will help a lot with the investigation. I'll do my best. I guess. <laughs> After class, I go to the lockers and know this chain standing in your mind. Has it been waiting for me? The students passing by give him a, give him a wide, wide berth, not even daring to look directly at him. Well, he has an odd aura around him. I wouldn't stay around that guy for long either. Regardless of what Leoji says, I can't trust this guy. What is he up to? Just standing around in weird places like this. I pretend not to notice him as I pack my stuff from... How do I pretend not to notice a crazy, like... Guy like him? Because honestly, all... It's... Intimidating. As I pack my stuff from my locker and head straight home. Is he following me? Another empty street, but stuff's falling behind me again. If this is another stalker about to confess, I'm going to report him. I casually turn my head to catch a glimpse of the person following me. It's Chain. When he comes even closer, I notice something sticking out from his belt. I cannot see it clearly, but it looks like a hilt of a knife or something similar. I do not remember seeing him with anything like that at school. Was he planning on ambushing me the whole time? Uh... <laughs> No, no, Michiko, don't jump to conclusions. Shane's icy blue eyes are locked on me as he approaches. I can't handle another second of this. I don't know what he wants with me, but I'm not going to wait and find out. The moment I turn a corner and break his line of sight, I start running. After a few blocks, I stop behind the thick trunk of a tree to catch my breath. When I peek around it, he's not in sight anymore. He's behind me. It's always something like that. <sighs> I hope I never see him again. Look how scary he looks. Very intimidating. I turn back and suddenly someone is standing in front of me. Okay, maybe he's in front of me for some reason. He ran from me. Y y why are you following me? I'm an investigator. I've been assigned as your private guard. Why were you holding your knife out at me? Huh? Wait, what? I thought you were planning to kill me. That weapon on your belt. She raises his eyebrow and looks down at where I pointed. This? It's my gun. I rarely point it at civ civilians. Then why was it out? What was appointed? Ugh, thank goodness, I guess. I saw you a few days ago. Have you been watching me this whole time? Yes. Couldn't you have told me? You creeped me out. Back to being creepy. Still, I'm relieved to know we are on the same side. I guess Luigi was right. Thanks for keeping an eye out for me, but... Don't get too close. Keep some distance, okay? I don't have good experiences with people walking behind me. As we walk further, he does as I ask. Even though I understand his motives now, it still feels weird. What would people even think if they saw us like this never mind we should walk together we're both students after all i just start trying to come closer but he does not budge we don't have to act like strangers anymore my name is michiko and i'm a second year i already know everything about you like what i'm chain elite class student you dodged my question Ugh. 
There are many things I want to ask him, but he does not look like a talkative one. Even so, I better give it a try instead of walking in silence. Um... About those that have gone missing, why are you wearing a gas mask? Why are you guarding me? To be honest, I think we're all wondering this question right here. Why are you wearing a gas mask all the time? Um, if it's a personal reason, you don't have to answer. The smell of death is everywhere. I am sick of it. How come I don't smell it? His words gives me goosebumps. I do not bother to ask about it any further. My impression of him is only bound to get worse. Shortly after, we reach my place. Jane tells me to stay home as much as possible. The, that way, it would be easier for him to keep an eye on me. He also tells me that he is guarding more people at the same time. As I am the only student under his wing, he has no choice but to follow me to school every day. Or every... Every weekday. It feels like I am a sheep while he's a shepherd. Honestly, I want to take part in the investigation too, but it does not look like Jane will give me a chance. Before going to bed, I take a look outside of my window. Jane has not moved from his spot the whole evening. It looks like he will be staying until the next morning. Poor guy. His job must be tough. Does he not sleep at all? Okay. The, the sudden music stop scared me. For the next few days, Jane follows me whenever I go out. It is annoying, but I soon get used to it. Hey, Michiko, I have something important to ask. Yukiya pulls me closer, glancing around in case someone might hear us. What is the origin? Did you know you've got a new stalker? Huh? Who? A scary person over there. She looks over at Chain, who is standing further away from us. For some, reason, for, for some reason, he has been appearing at school lately. He's always standing outside our class. My gut feeling tells me he's stalking you. Let me make it clear to him that you're not interested. No, he's not... Oh, okay. Before I can explain, Ikea is already stepping towards Chain. This is a misunderstanding. I have a bad feeling about this. She clenches her fist as she walks, the picture of confidence until... She freezes and looks back at me like a frightened puppy. Immediately, she runs back without finishing her her objective. Michiko, he is scary. How do you even attract so many weird guys? Ask them, not me. Yukiya pounces at the ground and begins toying with her hair self-consciously. I cannot help but pet her head. Oh, Yukiya. It's okay. This guy is my private guard. His name is Chain, and he's both an elite class student and an investigator. The streets are dangerous, so he's been assigned to guard the people. He may not look like it, but he's a good guy. R really? Leoji would know more about it. Either way, don't worry. Hm. But even if Leoji is okay with this creepy guy, I don't trust him. Class is about to start, but the teacher wants to announce something first. Oh god. More people dying? I'm not ready for this. His expression is unusually tense. Dear students, I don't know how much you've kept up with the news, but I'd like to stress something important. The streets are dangerous at night, so be sure to stay home for your own safety. What's going on? There's a serial killer in our village. Five deaths have been reported and many people are still missing. No, wait! Who in this village would do such a thing? Maybe it's one of the outsiders? Be prepared. Tonight they will get, in they will get into your room and... Boy! Everyone, please stay calm. Nothing has been confirmed about the identity of the killer, so don't jump to any unnecessary conclusions. The class becomes restless after this announcement. Everyone exchanges their thoughts. Say, Leoji, do you know what's truly going on? I knew you would ask me first. The police have found a few clues, but so far they lead nowhere. This is one of the toughest investigations we've ever dealt with. Only the perpetrator and victims know the truth. The rest of us can only guess what's on their mind. Our crew has never dealt with a per perpetrator like this. It might take a while to solve the case. Is there any solid evidence? My dad suspects there might be multiple people pulling the strings. Multiple people? We should be more careful. Shane told me that private guards are being assigned to people in the village. Couldn't they have sent a notice first? I thought someone was stalking me. The killer must be extremely dangerous for them to make such a move, right? Yes, multiple disappearances in a week. We don't know how to make them stop. As classes carry on, my classmates continue to chat among themselves. I catch a few conversations about people who heard strange noises in their neighborhood. Some even point at possible sus suspects without good reasons. After class, I meet up with Chain outside the school so we can walk home together. Chain, did anything happen last night? No. I wonder if he's tired from staying up all night. I cannot tell while he's wearing that mask. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! I forgot my homework in my locker. Casually. Well, you mind if I go back for a moment? Go ahead. I'll be back soon. And then I get stolen. 
It is oddly quiet on my way back to the hall. After taking my stuff, I head back. An odd creature dashes by, almost cat-like, but not quite. Huh? What was that? I peer around the corner to see where it went and find the creature watching me from some distance down another hall. Its big ears are shaped like a bunny's, but the long legs are like a cat's. How did it get in the building? The creature slowly approaches me, then suddenly jumps away. Chase after it? It's, uh, oh, I can't speak English. Chase after it or do not chase after it? Well, learning from my past of, like, being curious, I don't think I should chase after it, but we're not going to find out until the next episode. But honestly, I kind of want to chase after it. But if we learned about the bad ending of last route, we shouldn't chase after it. Who knows what I'm going to pick. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hunter, 주저, 한참.